Since turning 30, girl, your girl's got some bags. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Destiny. If this is your first time here, girl, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on any other videos from me in the future. If this is not your first time here, welcome back, babe. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. So today we have a Ulta haul. It's a new month. So we need new makeup, right? So like every month, usually I need to re-up on either my favorites or try out new things. So here we are with another Ulta haul. So if you want to see what I got from Ulta for the month of August, please continue to watch. All right, y'all, so let's just dive right on into the new stuff. So I got some new stuff and then I got some like re-up stuff. So we're gonna just dive right in. So I'm gonna start with the skincare. So I've heard nothing but good things about the brand. Um, what is it, The Ordinary? So when I was in Ulta, they had the whole, it's called the Balance Set. And it looks like this, like a whole little gift set from The Ordinary. So here you go, that's what it looks like. But they have this whole gift set. And inside of here, it has a cleanser, a mask, um, niacinamide, and a moisturizer. And then in addition to this, I also picked up the Caffeine Solution 5% Plus EGCG, which it reduces the appearance under eye pigmentation and puffiness. So. Since turning 30, girl, your girl's got some bags, okay? And I don't like it, and I need to find something to get them to be gone. So we're gonna try this guy out and see if it like makes any difference on how my bags look. But I've never tried anything from The Ordinary. You just see them like all over social media. So I'm like, whatever, I'll give it a try. It was on sale, so I'm like, well, we'll try it out and see how it goes. But if you guys would like, I could totally do like a like August Ulta haul review at the end of the month, like after I've tried all these out and let you guys know what I think and if it actually worked for me or if you probably shouldn't waste your money. But I believe, give me a second, I can let you know how much it costs. So the balance set was $29. So it's $29 for this whole set. You get four different facial products. They are all a 1.7 or one fluid ounce for each product. And then this other one, the caffeine solution, I have my receipt right here. The caffeine solution from them, it was $6.70 and you get a one fluid ounce bottle for this guy. And just for kicks, we'll go ahead and open it for you guys. Cause I haven't opened them or anything yet. I just bought it and brought it home. So the caffeine solution comes in like a little dropper bottle, like so. And let's see if we can pop the rest of the kit open. Oh, okay, okay, I'm about to tear it up, hold on. Tear it up, that's it. There we go, okay. Aha, super cute. So it comes like this in the box, if I can get it open. Jesus Christ, I'm just gonna hold this one because it's not being friendly. But there you go, there are all the products. So the cleanser, the mask, and the moisturizer are all in these squeeze tubes. And then your, um, what is this one? The niacinamide also comes in a dropper bottle, and then everything else comes in a squeeze tube like this, so either 1.7 or one fluid ounce. So we'll try it out and see you know what it's talking about because I mean, I'm always trying new facial products and trying to really get my skincare routine you know, solidified for like what's really gonna work for me all the time through stress and no stress. So we'll try it out and we'll let you know. The next thing I got in relation to skincare were these Mighty Patches. I've heard about these as well through social media, but they just look like this. So I just got the small pack. So this is just a set of six invisible patches for the daytime and then six original, which I'm assuming look like this little patch here. A little tan one so six original ones for nighttime um, and you're supposed to be able to like put them on any kind of blemish or pimple that you may get and it's supposed to make it go away um, let's see let's read the back it says blemishes always show up in the worst times that's why we created mighty patch a hydrocolic acid patch that extracts impurities camouflages blemishes and helps heal your skin use original or nighttime and the invisible daytime Oh, use the original at nighttime and then the invisible for daytime. Okay. So it says it helps to speed up the healing, visibly shows it's working, and it works on all skin types. 
so we'll try them out we'll see what it's hitting for you know whenever i have a blemish or something usually when i eat too many carbs which i tend to do sometimes i end up with a pimple or a blemish of some sort so we will try that out and see if it helps with that and if it can make them go away quickly we got some elf stuff because you know i love elf and i wanted to pick up some of their newer products so here i have their putty bronzer i got the putty bronzer in the shade bronze bell and it looks like this so i have a few of their other putty products like i have the putty primers i have it in matte and in the poreless one i also have a few putty blushes but i've been on the hunt for a new bronzer and I really like cream bronzer. So this is supposed to go from a, um, like a putty to a powder formula. So I'm very interested to try this out and see how this is gonna work, but the color looks really, really pretty. So I said, we'll try it out and see how it goes. So I'll let y'all know about that. Then next in our elf pile, what is this? I got a ride or die lip balm in Mighty Mint. So this is just a regular like lip balm here from elf. I believe this is like a newer product from them. I've never tried it before. Um, everything that I've shown so far, I've never actually tried. None of these are re-ups for me. So let's take it out of the packaging as I'm tearing it up. So uh, for this guy, yeah, it's like in a little squeezy tube. It's very interesting. So it has like a little flat top on it and it's just in like a squeezy tube. Okay, and then it comes out like that. So we'll give her a try. I always need a good chapstick. Like I hate, hate dry lips. So we'll give that a try and see how that works out. And if I don't tell you what the price is and everything, I'll leave the prices and links to everything down in the description bar. Be sure to shop those links, check everything out and let me know what you think. And if you try any of the products that I've picked up from Ulta. So next girl, let's jump into our Morphe pile. So I got a couple of things from Morphe that I haven't tried before. Um, I ran out of my Benefit eye pencil and I was like, oh, let me go pick up another one. But then while I was looking at the Morphe stuff, I said, oh, they have eye pencils, which, duh. Like I know they have eyebrow pencils, but I've never tried them. So I picked up two of them. I got the definer brow pencil and then I got the micro brow pencil. So this one re reminds me of like the precisely my brow cause it's like really, really thin. It's like a really thin little applicator. And then this one's more like, um, like the goof proof. I think that's what it's called from Benefit, that eye pencil. So it's kind of like a dupe for the Benefit ones. So I got both of these in the colors Mocha. So it's like a, like a deep brown, like a brown black kind of a color. So yeah, I got two of them just to try them out. Like one probably for work and then one for um, when I'm just going to get glam. So we'll try these guys out and see how they work. I've never used them before, so we'll see. Girl. We'll see. I also picked up from Mor Morphe um, a mini continuous setting spray because I love their matte one. But I'm just interested to see how this will work because like, I really kind of want to try to get into more dewy looks, but not use dewy products. So I want to be more glowy, but um, I'm just wanting something that's going to be able to like retain the glow instead of like mattifying everything because I usually go for a really, really matte face. But I figured I'd just get a mini one and try it out and see how it works for me. And, you know, I'll let you guys know how that works out. I don't tear stuff up first. Um, and then we got this Morphe Highlight Contour Sponge. I hear good things about the sponges. Um, right now I'm using like a Sonia Kashuk sponge. Um, but this one like looks pretty cool. I've never used it before, obviously. I could tear it up now since I'm in front of you guys. But it has like the dual sides. So, I mean, that looks like perfection in itself to like really like get up in there and then and this for me I love especially like for down the nose highlight perfection so very interested to try this guy out wonder how that's gonna work but we'll try it out and see um it feels really nice it doesn't feel hard at all it feels super soft so we'll try that out with some of these new products and I'll let you guys know how that works out and then next um I got another sponge this one is a real technique sponge it looks like this this is their Miracle Powder Sponge. So I've never seen a sponge like specifically geared towards powder. So I said, well, let me try it. <laughs> Cause I, I always put my powder on with the sponge. I rarely, seldomly use a 
brush. Oh, okay, so this feels like very interesting. It's got like a velvety kind of a texture. I don't know if you can see on camera, like, focus, focus. But it has like a different type of texture to it. It's not smooth at all. It's like got a, a very interesting texture. So I'm quite interested to see how to use this. Like, do you wet it? Do you not wet this? Like, I wonder, does it say? It just says seamlessly apply setting bronzer, setting bronzer, highlight, and blush powders for a flawless finish. Use damp or dry with powders. Okay. Okay, real techniques. I mean, you know they could make good tools anyways. So we'll try her out and see. All right, girl, let's see what else do we have. Oh, I think we're on the last product. So last but not least, this is this is a re-up for me. So I think I pretty much got all new stuff except for this. So I just needed a new lip liner. I love ColourPop lip liners. My ride or die are BFF two, three, and four, I think. BFF four, three and four were like the Shayla collab. I'm not sure, but I picked one up. Every time I'm in there, I try to like grab them if I see them like on display because they usually sell out. But this is the BFF three, and it's just a brown liner. Um, yeah, it looks like the ant. Love it. I love it for like everyday looks. I usually pretty much only wear brown liner for the most part, unless I'm gonna do like a red lip, but. Love it. They glide on. They're very smooth and a beautiful color. So, love that for me. All right, y'all. So, that brings us to the end of this Ulta haul for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed all of these new products that I've picked up. If you are interested in seeing an August review of these products, I can most definitely show you guys that at the end of the month once I've had a, once I've had a chance to try everything out and see how I like everything and if it works for me or not and give you a full review of if you should buy them or not. Let me know about that down in the comments section. I thank you so much for tuning into another video from me. Be sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell. I will see my beautiful babes in the next one. Bye.